Okay, so this is what we are making today. Um, it's a little uh, thing for a baby shower. It's wishes for baby. And then one here, it says, I hope you learn. I hope you aren't afraid. I hope you love. I hope you get. I hope you laugh. I hope you never forget. I hope you ignore. I hope you become. I hope you respect. I hope you grow. And then love whoever. Um, and then you fill in the blank. Your wishes for the baby. Okay, so we went ahead and already printed, um, I just used my computer and printed this off, just did a little thing in Excel, um, and it's the wishes for baby, and it's got all the things here, with a little love spot at the bottom. Um, I'm doing the wishes for baby part separate, which you will see later. Um, I do have them all printed here. And um, we're doing the purple one right now, actually. So um, I've already got them all, um, sized out in my Cricut craft room and um, basically I just put this on here after I printed it and then I just lined it up, um, lined up the lines in the Cricut craft room with where it was on my mat and um, did a test one with just a white blank, or not a blank piece, but with a white one that didn't really matter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this um, and the cartridge that I'm using is um, it is paper lace two. Sorry, one second. Around so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so here we've got them all in the Cricut Rack craft room, and just a two per page. And like I said, when I was doing the invitations, it is easiest. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's easiest to load it first, and we're gonna do that again. Okay, um, and then we will cut, and select our machine, select cut again, um, it's telling me that the paper lace 2 cartridge was successfully detected because even um, when you pull it up on here, you still have to put the cartridge in your Cricut. So continue, insert mat, we already did, so continue. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and cut. Sorry, the lighting's kinda bad. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all of the um, colored ones all cut out, and um, I'm doing three colors, sorry, four colors actually. Um, purple, light pink, dark pink and white, and that is because oops, the paper that I'm using uh, is this, sorry. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. There's some kind of plaid, there's polka dots, um, this little design, lines. Um, and then the white is gonna be used on this one and um, this one. Um, so there are three pieces of each, and so, um, for the ones not getting the white, each each kind will have one of each color. Um, and then for the top, um, we cut out the wishes for a baby. This is from the um, Cricut Essentials that came on my Cricut Expression 2. And then um, there's one that's similar to it that just has a cutout in the middle, so I'm just putting those on top. And just using my Zig adhesive here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put everything together. Um, here's my little card here. And we're gonna use the zig stick. Okay, and this paper is nice because um, it has little lines you can barely see. Um, to help you line everything up. Okay. 
Then I've just been using my Cricut mat to um, find the exact middle. And just a little mark there. And um, we're going to be putting the ribbon on the top, but because this paper is so thin, I actually had one rip. So this is the center from this, and I just didn't throw them out because I thought I might need to, I could maybe use them for something. So um, I've just been gluing that right where I um, punch the holes just so the ribbon doesn't tear through the thin paper because this other paper is a thicker cardstock. Okay. This thing's kind of hard. There we go. Okay, so we punch the hole there. And then before I put on the ribbon, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And then I've just been lining the four up right in between the two holes because that's where we mark the middle. So it's a good way to get in the middle. Okay, and then I have this ribbon. I bought like, I don't know, eight or 10 spools of this and it's um, 10 yards each. It was 50 cents at Joan Fabrics on clearance and I have used it for everything. Um, this is the same ribbon that I used on the invitations. And I just cut it at an angle and kind of fold it. And stab it through. Same thing over here. And then for whatever reason, every time I tie a bow, the <laughs> the uh, like the long parts end up up here. So I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or what. So I've just been flipping them over and tying the bow this way, and then it works. Okay, so there it is. That's pretty simple. Um, and then what I'm doing with these is I am I am making her an album that um, for anybody who watches Grey's Anatomy, I'm sure it didn't originate with Grey's Anatomy, but this is where we got it from. Um, they did for a baby shower, they um, decorated onesies with like puffy paint. So we're gonna do that and then each person is going to, I'm gonna have them um, take a picture of them with the onesie that they decorated for the baby. And um, I'm thinking about doing like a chalkboard and having them um, write their names like aunt so-and-so or whatever like that. And so then on, in the album that I'm making for her, one side will be the picture of that person with the onesie and then the other side will be the wishes for baby from that person. As, person as well. And I just thought that would be really cool um, for her to have when she gets older and looks back because it's fun to look back on that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be cool to have, you know, see who was at each shower and, you know, what they made for you and their wishes for you. So anyways, that is that part of it. Thanks. <laughs>